Hey guys, Carissa here. Today we're gonna turn this 55 gallon drum into a really cool barbecue. Here we go, we gotta wash it out. Make sure you start with something that had like food in it or was totally clean. You don't want something that had like petroleum or chemicals in it. It's really bad, especially if you're gonna cook food in it. All right, here we go, we're gonna wash it out. Some tools you might need include a jigsaw with metal blades, an angle grinder with a flap disc and a cutoff wheel, and a MIG welder. Okay, the first thing I'm gonna do here is cut this in half down the middle this way so that there's like a half a barrel. Okay, so I've got my string cut to half the circumference uh, and now I'm just gonna lay it out using this uh, soapstone all the way down the seam, measuring all the way down till I have like some nice marks that I can connect and I'll know where to cut. All right, so I'm all set up to go. Did a quick and dirty job of cleaning that edge and the edge of the actual barrel. I took off all the sealing crap that was in the inside so that won't burn too badly. Got my welder, argon tank, nozzle dip, pliers, brush, gloves, Auto darkening helmet. We're good to go. Let's see how we can we do with this. Not the best welds I ever made, but just quick and dirty. I just tacked some little you know, tack welds all the way around. You never want to weld something fully closed without leaving a vent hole because it could explode. That's not good. You don't want things to explode. So that's good enough. Now I can start to cut. I'm gonna start with my angle grinder with the cutoff wheel and do these seams and then see if I can pick up with a jigsaw and go down my line here. I don't care how much of a dork I look like. I'm wearing this thing. Now I'm gonna cut across with the jigsaw. Wasn't too bad. Got it pretty clean along the edges and uh, so that I think is gonna be my actual barbecue um, bottom and that can be like a top maybe or I could just make another one. Not sure. Might save it and make another one. Anyway I already welded up some pieces to make a stand. I did that a couple months ago. The plan is to have kind of a folding situation with this and then another piece just like this that will attach to here uh, with some weld on hinges from McMaster. So I'm gonna start welding those hinges on and see if we can't make a base. You can make anything you want. I've seen ones that are just really simple like scissors with two pieces of angle iron um, very simple design that's portable you can fold them up but this is for my uncle and aunt who uh, have a place on the Cape I'm trying to you know do something nice for them that they can use to make meat on the stick Portuguese style or like barbecue whatever they want to do so um, traditionally you just put wood in the barrel and burn it and that's your fuel you don't need a grill you use these skewers that go over the top and just um, turn the skewers you know you don't need a you don't need a grill or anything so that's what I'm making here but you could you could make it with like weld in little tabs to put a grill on there go go get like a, a size grill that will fit put a piece of uh, expanded metal over the top whatever you want it's pretty simple stuff okay so we've got the hinges laid up I'm gonna try to tack these guys on okay not the worst thing I ever did don't look there not my best weld <laughs> Anyway, you get the idea. Other side now. Okay, let's see how we did. All right, it's not too bad. Stand opens up, stands up, not gonna fall over. Put the barrel on it. All right, kind of worked better than I thought. And here it even 
locks in. So there's nothing holding it. There's no pins. There's no nothing except it's just locking in on this lip and over here on this one. So I might just leave it. kind of like it. Kind of, kind of artsy, kind of different. I don't know. Not exactly what I would have done had I thought about it a little bit more, but it was sort of designed on the fly and executed with what I had on hand. So not too bad. I think they'll like it. Hopefully they'll use it. Won't just live under the porch or something. All right. Well, that's it. We've just built a barbecue. And I'm just gonna clean up these edges a little. They're kind of sharp. But the great thing is, it doesn't hold water because I didn't weld it all the way around. So if it rains, it's not gonna get rusty. It's just gonna drain out. So, Carissa out.